Once again, we begin an amazing adventure with our friends No Prob Rome. Where we will end up, we have no idea. Where we are going, no one knows. But we're going to head that way. <laughs> Big Red's getting fueled up right now, and it's time to adventure off into the sea the rest of the island. I know I'm excited. The queen's in there. She's probably ready for a nap. I got her up pretty early today. Road trip, behold, here we go. Good morning. The sun comes up entirely too early around here. It's time to go on an adventure. Just gotta let the queen get up and get ready. There's something about intense humidity, goats, cows, and chickens crowing in the morning at 5.30 to really remind you of where you're at. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, there she is. Good early morning. It's 6 a.m. Rise and shine. It's not my time of day, but I'm going to rally because we're off to adventure with No Prob Rob. Let's see how the day goes. Who knows what trouble we'll get into? Who knows where we're going to go? We don't know what we're going to see. It's No Prob Rob. And we're off. We have arrived at the house of Rob Simpson. And there's a Shih Tzu. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the world famous Connex Box Kitchen. And I mean sustainable Connex Box Kitchen with solar and everything in here. You got cute puppies, sexy ladies, coffee. Hi. And Rob Simpson up in this thing. Good day, mate. Oh, snap. What are we doing over here, chef? Oh, you know, we get down with it over here. Okay. We getting down with it. We're uh, busting out some flavor up in here. Some flavor? Yeah. What's your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. <laughs> Hello. You can't really see them. Welcome to my vlog. Good morning. She's figuring it out. <laughs> Just, you know, gotta say hi to the neighbors in the morning here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we just had a fantastic breakfast. Uh, we are here at Casa de Simpson, sustainable eco-friendly resort, which is pretty epic. From his gardens and his pigs to his Connex box recycled properties, just like the kitchen that we just walked out of. Pretty epic little spot. He's got hydroponics, aquaponics, under these Connex box rooms here, which are really nice inside. He's got a completely sustainable tilapia and koi pond going on here. If you look and see the fish are doing pretty good down there actually. More gardening, more aquaponics and hydroponics. This is an amazing like 10 tier aquaponic system. And he's got this one here, catfish, koi, and tilapia there as well. I think that one's really cool. And then the Pied de Resistance is Rob's bedroom. Like you can't make this shit up here. This is, this is Rob's bedroom. This is where we have dinners and stuff a lot of nights. There's Rob's bed. And with Rob's bed, comes a pristine view of basically the best reef on the island with amazing visibility. Sardines are running. There's group are all down there. I was just down there snorkeling two days ago. There's somebody free diving right there. Welcome to the Philippines. Can it get any cooler than that right there? The weather today, it's supposed to rain mostly, but that's okay because we'll be in the car. I actually get to let my hair down today. This is called walking off breakfast. We normally don't eat breakfast. A little nervous. About? Well, because we're gonna be on an adventure with Rob. Are you nervous about a road poo in the province? Yeah. Are you nervous about a road poo <laughs> in the province? She didn't want to eat breakfast because she might have a road poo in the, in the province. We don't normally eat this early. <laughs> and then if you get that toxic feeling, whoo, you got like minutes to pull over before there's an accident. <laughs> We've had us a hearty 
mungo bean sabao dinner and now a hearty protein breakfast. Our battle vehicle of choice for the day. The eventual goal is Alyssa and I to have something like this so we can just go. Something like this with a bed in it. Yeah, some solar. <laughs> it's road trip time. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling down the river. We're driving up a washout here. We want to see the reservoir. I don't see any lolongs. Where's where's the giant crocodiles of, of the Philippines? I don't want to see a crocodile. Giant crocodiles of the Philippines. Oh. A little bit of a washout divot. All right, so me and my trusty co-pilot here we're on our way through some of the uh, really beautiful, pristine, provincial rice paddy family plots around here. It's very different, it's very humbling, it's very beautiful. Bubai in this area is kind of in one big valley surrounded by little mountains. It's just very lush, it's very green. It's a beautiful area. Every single time we, we venture out this way, I fall in love with Ubai a little bit more. I have not really explored the city and the port area much but this side of Ubai I like it I like it a lot look at how beautiful and pristine these areas are so these are the local guys here these are your carabao or water buffalo they're like look that big red van is a change man we're not all about that <laughs> I think if you had the right setup you could you could build a really comfortable home for yourself out here just look at that right here. Look at this, guys. I'll be honest with you. Who the hell needs to go to Bali to enjoy this kind of view? I know I don't. Another beautiful day in the Philippines, guys. We're coming to uh, visit some of our friends, say hi to their distant family out here. Our friends live on our side of the island, but they're from here. And this is where a small little community of rice farmers and pig farmers live. This is our friend's dad's little mini vulcanizer shop. I think it's great that he's doing his own thing now. How you doing, babes? Good. Yeah? I could use a nap. Yeah? But I'm good. Well, with this beautiful breeze here, if we had shade in a hammock, I'd be napping. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's pretty nice out here. Oh, he knows where he's at. The dog's like, this is my hood. I know where I'm at here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, my gusto. Hello. How are you? They all look like brother and sister. Yeah, they do. What's your name? I'm Michelle. Michelle? Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jana. Jana? Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> What's your name? Melcher. What is it? Melcher. Melcher? Melcher? Yeah, Melcher. Melcher. Nice. Ten. Ten? That's a fun age. Today? Is it birthday? Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday, Melcher. Happy birthday. <laughs> home sweet home out here. This is the life here. This is the real Philippines. This is so beautiful out here. So peaceful. Lunch break. Lunch break. Come get a little, little lunch in you. Find a shady spot. Boom. Break time. I am buntag, mama. Bye, musta. He's like, I'm home. I gotta pee all over everything again. <laughs> edible herbs and veggies, edible herbs and veggies. A little bit of everything. Bananas, taro root, cassava. And then they got the piggies. So this is a main source of income around here. Pigs and piglets. What's up there, bub boys? Yeah? Mama had her piggies. Look at that baby back bob boy bacon right there. I like it. Whoa, look at that butterfly. Whoa, babe. That butterfly was wild. Oh, and this is the one we were talking about with one, oi. Wow. Just one brand new, oi. Hopefully he can latch onto that milk. Same litter? No, brand new. Yeah. Papa Pig was not fertile at that moment. Oh man, heavenly, heavenly out here. Every time we visit, I fall in love with the area. Let's 
time to take the family to lunch. All right, troops. Let's load up, troops. Let me crawl back in here. Keep an eye out for the cobras. Hello, Hello. good to see you. Of course, how are you? Oh, you're eating. <laughs> wow, very nice. Very interesting. Looks like a zoo, botanical garden, adventure park at one point. I don't know if it's in full operation right now, but it's definitely beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, look at that thing. Wow. Yes. All right, aside from the epic video with the loud music, we're not gonna be able to get much done filming here during this event. Um, but take a look at this. He just flew away. Let's see if we can capture him on camera. He is so beautiful. I hate seeing him in this cage. I just want to go buy him a big bucket of fish. <laughs> Bro, if I could go get you a milkfish right now, I would. Beautiful. Wow. Yep, I'm going to have a full aviarium one day. What's up, Legends family? We are out here on some wacky, wild, last-minute adventure. Uh, we're in Big Red with my boy No Prob Rob over here. We just stopped by and uh, hung out with the Rotary Club of Bohol here, the island that we're on in the Philippines. They did a coastal cleanup this morning and then a mountain tree planting project, which was really, really cool. We've got a couple random things in store. We're gonna go drop off family and friends that we had lunch with here in a minute. And then we're headed down a couple of roads in the middle of the island that we have not been on yet. Where we end up, what we end up finding, and what we end up doing the rest of the day is totally up in the air. We have no idea. But we're gonna have fun, we're gonna give it our all, and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Decided to uh, take a side road that led to nowhere. What are you looking at? Facebook? Three minutes. We're climbing mountains into the dark abyss. We don't know what's gonna happen. We're going that way. All right, so we're here um, at the very top of some of the highest peaks in Bohol. Um, we're going through, I believe, this little barangay Bagayanis. I, I, I might be mispronouncing that, I'm sure I am. But uh, it's just kind of crazy because right in front of us is just, just absolute black wall of rain and water and thunder and lightning. And behind us is blue skies and sunshine. Pilar. We are in Pilar. Huh? Wow. Huh? Nice spot right there too. Hang on. It's so nice up here. Well, let's go to the top. Okay, so we have taken a stop here up at the top. We are on the outskirts of Pilar. We are on Milano Lake. And this is the Milano Dam, which we're, we're at right now. And this reservoir, this reservoir is just kind of unbelievable. This is a mega project for sure, especially for the Philippines here. Like it's dry right now and I really just kind of want to get a dirt bike and try to ride the rim of this thing. Like what? All the way out here. You know you're in the Philippines when all the way out here in the middle of nowhere, there's a video key system. Tarped off, ready to party. National Irrigation Administration. The NIA. Wow, take a look at this. What a mega project. So the waters rise and it spills over. Well, we were looking for a vantage point. I think we found it. The Seahawks are flying, hunting some fish, rain. This is unbelievable. Oh, because that's smart. This is this is what I signed up for, guys. Right here. Smile, both of you. Hey. Aww. That's just a tension line, right? That's not actually a zip line, or is that actually a zip line experience? Maybe it is a zip line. That was a zip line experience? So this was like a party beach park area? I don't think it ever really worked out. <laughs> 
Seems like a lawsuit waiting to happen. See the humps up there? Today. I'm getting challenged by somebody twice my age right now. Clearly people be having fiestas here. These are where the chili peppers come from. Look at them all growing. I have not seen a more fertile chili pepper plant ever. The floor is hollow at the top. Like, it gets worse and worse as you go up. Now that I'm underneath it, I can really see it. Let's see here. Do it for the gram. Looks a little solid here. I made it up one flight, folks. Wow. I mean, there's, there's physically no stair left at the top. Like... It's a beautiful aspect. Look at the view of the wife over there. Wow. She's a hottie. Yeah. No, Rob, Rob stopped here, so if I go up one more step, I win. One more step, I win. That, there's, there's a point where the yes theory stuff becomes a little, a little out of bounds. Like, sure, I say yes to everything in life, but yes to walking up stairs that are literally rusted through. Like, here, look. I'll send this to you. Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna clip this in while I'm while I'm vlogging here. So you can see. There you go. <laughs> so they're literally setting up tables and chairs right now. I looked over there and I was like, man, this looks like the party. They got grills, tables, chairs, and now they're showing up with more. Now they're saying that they're gonna put a band right there on the edge of that whole water system and have a fiesta tonight. Like, what? I feel like we're always like two hours early or two hours too late. The story of our lives. We really didn't know where this episode was going. We really didn't know where we were going. We knew we were going to end up somewhere eventually. We have just crossed between Pilar, taken a left headed south towards Hagna. But in order to head south towards Hagna, you got to climb the highest peaks in Bohol. And we have just stopped alongside one of the most gorgeous rice paddy mountaintops. I think I've ever seen. I, there's really no, no justice for this. I really hope when I pan this camera around that you're going to be able to see what I see right now. Um, aside from a really hot woman. But uh, check this out. All right. Here we go. Oh my God. I, I, I don't know whether the camera is going to do it justice or not. I, I, I don't know. I had to pull over because this is just, this is some of the most beautiful land I've ever seen. What I'm feeling right now must be what those that explored Bali 30 years ago felt. First off, I love their irrigation. I love how well they irrigate the natural springs around here. Second off, you guys should have told me that uh, the mic was just sitting there hanging. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> this is unbelievable. I'm at a loss for words right now. These people live here and harvest. I mean, unbelievable. This is so beautiful. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that we have been on this island for a year and we have still, hello, we have still yet to see everything and experience everything. We've not even been down this main road before. Take a look at that. Fresh mountain spring water coming right out of the top of the mountains up here. Everybody shares. Everybody gets a bit. Everybody grows perfect rice. And I mean, as soon as the cars and bikes go by, this is, it's just pristine. There isn't a sound up here, but trickling spring water and the occasional bir bird chirp. Let's see what the rest of this area has to offer because that was world-class. Okay, stop number four, five, six, and seven on the road trip today. Ooh, excuse me. We are at the um, top of the mountain here at a organic 
farm and strawberry farm which is a pretty famous thing around here on this island and to be honest we just haven't been able to afford the time or the ability to get up here yet so here we are and uh we, we're not even in the entrance yet and it's it's already spectacular wow look at these greens we have not eaten greens in a while look at this like like look at the fruit hanging up above too They've got a succulent farm here. Yeah, my mom would just die here. We can hop on the horses and go riding, babe. This is just unbelievable. Like the flowers, oh my gosh. They just hang. Like I have to duck down in here. Look at this. Look at this little spot right here. They've got cactuses and brahms up here. My mom is just gonna die. Oh my God, they got a red version. <sighs> my mom has the green version back home. Babe, you're taking a photo of everything pretty? Make sure you take a photo of yourself then. These are amazing. My mother grows these back home in Florida. Wow. Look at these crossbreeds. Oh my God. When you grow up with a hippie gardening mom on a nursery, it's, uh, this, is, this is pretty comfy here. This is pretty flawless. They got herbs and spices up there, up the hill. The air feels amazing up here. I, I don't think I'd need an AC if we were blowing this through the house. The colors that these guys are able to achieve here. And they do have a vantage deck up top here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This adorable little drawbridge. And now you're looking all the way across the hole. Wow, and look at the strawberry fields. How you doing, baby? I'm in heaven, climbing to the top of the hill for a quick vantage point. It's just fresh greens and strawberries everywhere you look. Like if you're hungry, you can literally just snap some of this off, give it a quick rinse and eat it. Look at all the tilapia and stuff they got in the, in the pond down there. They got their fish palm, this is full aquaponics. All right, so we are down at the bottom of the mountain. Finally, we have come to one of my favorite cities here the city of Hagna, and we are at the public market here. Look at these flowers. Those are unbelievable. What? Those are massive. Um, we've got uh, a little bit of a walk through here. We're going through the flower and veggie side of the market right now. It's pretty amazing. They got everything fresh. Hello. Mang up on. All right. Got a little bit of everything. Looking good around here. You know, basically, I need everything here. That's the beauty of it. There isn't a thing here I wouldn't eat. Not one. Right on the other side is the jumping, thumping, party barbecue scene. So we're getting ready to head over there real quick, snap a little bit of barbecue, and then uh, make our way back from there. It's a very transitional time in here. It's very busy. It's Saturday night. Everybody's in here getting what they need. Everybody's in here spending the money they made for the week. But uh, we have basically one objective on our minds right now, and that is food. Food. Food! Food! Hey! Comparing the prices to where we're at, it's almost 10 pesos more per kilo. Wow, some of this is the local milled, and it's yeah. still down at 45. Looks good. Time to break it all down and move it all in for the night. And that means it's time to party. All right, so here's the beauty of Hagna. We come out the other side of the market. We had the veggie and flour guys and rice guys on that side of the market. So we walk out to this side and uh, you are instantly, instantly hit with a wall of delicious pork fat and smoke and candying barbecue and meat on the flame. The smell is unbelievable. As soon as you walk out here. The real question here is, where are we gonna eat? Because they all look amazing. They all look delicious. I'm down for just about any of them. From the pork, to the pork fat, to the chicken, manok, chicken hearts. Wow, that's it. Looks good. To the chorizo, hot dogs, liver, intestines, feet, 
I mean, it literally all looks amazing. All right, well, we made a decision. We've sat down. I had to take a break for a minute and get off my feet. I also needed to delete like 200 videos off of my phone from previous episodes. Um, because if you don't know, we have an episode coming out here very soon where we're gonna enlighten you folks on the capabilities of YouTube. I have filmed our entire year's content with this cell phone. Michael is a mind blower to uh, some people who invest thousands and tens of thousands of dollars into their camera equipment for vlogging. But I have successfully created this channel, filmed for a year, put out over 50 long form episodes and over 50 short form episodes, all of them through one cell phone. And for me, the only downside is that with the terabyte that's on my phone, I have to delete stuff every now and then. So I take stuff on and off my phone all the time. I have an episode coming out here soon where we are describing our equipment, breaking it down and explaining how I shot an entire year's worth of episodes and content for YouTube off of a cell phone. I hope that it's both educational, inspirational and that it humbles some people as well. Eating here is worth the wait. There's the queen. What's up? Pork and pork fat. It's fine. Okay, so we put our order in, we get our little sign, and now we wait. Rob, how many years you been here? 12? Thank you. Maybe 10 or 12 years. Hey. So here the rice comes in a steamed bamboo pod, which we call this what? Uto. Uto? Uto. We call this rice uto. It's beautiful. Yeah, you just peel it open. See how Milka did it there? Comes right out. Done. So this is what it's all about. You saw how empty this whole area was a minute ago, and now it's now there's 20 people per table. See this right here? You see this? That is the most important thing to have in the Philippines, right there. Yeah, yeah. Around the neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweat it out, man. And then if anybody needs a little whipping, you get. <laughs> there's really no way you can go wrong with Pinoy barbecue anywhere roadside. And when they're set up like this, this is an institution. This is, this is a barbecue institution right here. And you're never gonna go wrong with something that looks like this right here. Now it's time for the quick but long ride home in the van, probably take me about an hour. We're tired, we need a shower and some sleep. And I need water. We walk here. 25 30 minutes ago and this place was crazy it was busy it was hopping and just like that shut down it's been a hell of a day and it's not over yet we still got to get home i still got a shower i'm like a little kid with that straight up i don't want a shower all right we're back at big red time to get in and charge for home What's up, little man? Now it's time for a wild and crazy ride home. I'm sure Rob will have the tunes going. Got to do something to keep my eyes awake because I am flipping beat. Today was exhausting. The exhaustion was well earned. Yeah. If you like what you're watching, then make sure to stick around. We've got some other amazing episodes. My greatest work as an editor and creator yet is this episode right here, where we threw down with some of the most amazing and badass fishermen in the Philippines. And if you wanted to see the chill vibe and the energy in the Philippines, check this episode out right here. This is what it's like living in the Philippines. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers, legends. Peace.